Okay guys, back to the Ohuhu markers. I have this watercolor paper. Now this is Arches watercolor paper, which is a really great brand of paper. I do like their paper, but this is hot press. I prefer when I watercolor to use cold press, so this isn't my favorite finish of paper. That being said, I did remember I had this, and I'm wondering how the Ohuhu markers will work on this, um, just in case I don't want it to bleed through. So I'm actually, this is a, a watercolor block. I'm not going to use it on the block. I'm going to take the paper off. And if you haven't seen the first video where I swatched everything and I did some basic um, tests with the markers um, as far as blending and stuff is concerned and did a simple journal page, um, I'll link that video down below. And I'll link the Ohuhu website down below. I do think if you're going to... Um, add alcohol markers to your supplies and or you want to start playing with alcohol markers. These are a good affordable affordable brand with a very wide range of colors. This is just a Kaala um, um, range and I mean I have two boxes of 60. Hold on. I have two boxes of 60 and two boxes of 24 and other than black and maybe one or two of the grays being duplicated in at least three of the boxes, there's a lot of colors. And um, do you need all of these? Probably not. Um, but um, you could just get one of them, and I think you'd be very happy. They do have one that's just skin tone, so if you do portraits, this might be the one that you want to start with. All right, so I'm... I'm going to check the messages on my phone because, of course, I've decided to film, so it's going off. And I need to grab a pencil, and I'll be right back. I've been doing these illustratorly sort of whimsical woodland animals for my son-in-law, who is going to be born... Son-in-law. My grandson, who's going to be born in April. Uh, and um, I um, am going to show you how I did those, but also I want to try them with the ooh markers. So I'm going to start with a number two pencil... And I always pick um, an animal, and I find a live picture on the internet of them. Um, and I, I live in or the state of Oregon in the United States, so I'm trying to fit, find um, Oregon animals. Today, I think we're going to do a bear. I'm going to just take a screenshot of this because it will be easier. And let's see. Set my phone to not go to sleep because that's really annoying. Auto lock never. Um, there we go. So we're going to do this cutie and we're going to, it's not going to be a realistic painting. We're just using him for inspiration. So in my mind, his head is kind of heart shaped. So I'm going to start with just a light sketch. Try to pick out the features that identify him as a bear.
something like that to start with. Now we're gonna go over it with pen and clean it up as we go. spend a lot of time turning the paper so as not to get my hand in any wet pen. Okay, that's a cute start. So now we'll erase the pencil marks, hopefully without smearing the pen. Too much. And then normally I watercolor these. Oh, see, as I said that, I smeared the pen. Okay, we'll make it work. Okay. Um, we're gonna use the illustration tones, is that that one? Yes. I do like that, that you can open the boxes and sort of flip it on its side like this to use, but then the, it wants to close. I have this weight filled with um, actually BBs that I use for my tripod sometimes. Um, I'm gonna put it in the lid and whether I have it like this or like this, it'll hold it. It's not gonna flip closed. Alrighty, I've got a little jar with some alcohol in it, rubbing alcohol. I've got my brush. I've got one of the blender pens. Let's get started and see where we can go with this. I kind of want to do them in unusual colors. So... The only problem is finding the color that you want. There are so many colors. Ah, uh, what is it? Yeah, 990. 
Anybody see 990? Where do you, where is it? Do you see? Oh, you can't see. Mm. Here it is. So grab one out of this one so 660 and probably this one so we're going to start lighter and work our way darker just like I would with watercolor okay Unlike watercolor, I'm going to do a small section at a time because alcohol dries really fast. So. Which is going to make it look painterly and again I'm a watercolorist so painterly is right up my alley now what does that do to the paint oh it does bleed through so I mean not really surprised but yeah Oop. so put something there
cool. Is he perfect? Not by any stretch of anybody's imagination. Um, I had some bleed through outside of where I wanted him to be, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I think he turned out cute regardless. Um, it is, um, it does have a significant amount of bleed through, but I expected that um, as it would be with any alcohol marker project. I will probably do him again in watercolor too, but he's very cute. Um, I think I got a better blend with the rubbing alcohol than with the blender pen. That being said, it's probably just me and I need more practice. Um, I also spilled some alcohol out of my cup and I need to re-swatch a few colors, but you know, I think it turned out cute regardless. What do you think? So get out your alcohol pens, whether you do a drawing like this one or you work in a journal page. This is cute, very easy. Anybody could do this. And see what you can do with it. If you have alcohol markers, especially the Ohuhu markers in your stash of stuff, I'd love to see what you're doing with them. Um, check out the video description for relevant links. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. If you post something on social media with what you've done with your Ohuhu markers, I'd love to see it. Tag me in the post. That's it for right now. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.